What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Austin Alexander. I'm active duty in the Navy. I have military videos, fitness videos, so if you will, consider subscribing and be sure to like this video. So today I'm gonna to show you four military hacks that I actually use. You know, you've seen a lot of videos like 45 military hacks you can use today and 15 military hacks you can use, but I actually use these four military hacks and I thought about it, I sat down, thought about it, I gave it a long thought. And these are the four most popular ones that I use and I'm gonna relay them to you. So listen up, okay. The first one I wanna talk about is this lighter. You probably were wondering why I need this lighter. Well, it has to do with the, specifically the Navy uniform. Now, if you're in the Army, Air Force, or if you're wearing any kind of clothes, really, you can apply this as well. So we have these little things, we call them terrorists. We'll be like, hey, yo, there's a terrorist on your, on your uniform. And people freak out because in the Navy, if you're doing an inspection, or if you know somebody's just walking by you and they see a terrorist, they're gonna freak out. This is a terrorist right here. I don't know if you can see it, it's a string. We have them all over our NWs and they come up after every wash. So what you do with this lighter, instead of pulling it, which undo, undoes the threads and it can sometimes make your uniform come apart, we just take this lighter right here and we burn it off, simple. Now be sure not to uh, leave the lighter there for long enough to start catching your uniform on fire, but it's very, very easy. I'm actually gonna, I've been saving these, I've been saving these terrorists for this video. They've been on my uniform for a long, long time. So just a crucial tip is to never pull on them because they can make your uniform fall apart and these uniforms are expensive. Trust me, I just bought a pair. <laughs> Military hack number two is, now some people call this a combat tie, some people call it a, a battle lace or whatever. There's all kinds of different names for it, but when you are specifically running in your boots because when I first went into the military, I went to a dive preparation. It was up in uh, Great Lakes for like seven or eight weeks, but we ran everywhere in our boots and it was very annoying. We wore the short, short UDTs in the boots and everybody laced their boots like this. So, so what it is, is where your boot creases, where your ankle creases forward from your foot, you will skip that lace. So you'll skip the boot holes right here. So when you're wearing it, this allows your foot to bend a lot easier. If you just have it like this and it's tied all the way up, some, some of these boots, they don't bend very well, like especially these. So that is why I have skipped these right here in case I'm, I'm walking or I'm running at work or, or something like that. Your boot will bend a lot easier with your natural movement of your foot. It's a lot more comfortable, trust me, trust me guys. All right, so military hack number three is duct tape. I know most of you already utilize this if you're in the military or whatever, but you, duct tape can be used for lots and lots of different things. And I wanna show you what I like to use it for. So in boot camp, we were issued these boots right here. Now, some of you love these, some of you hate these. Some, some of these still toes could get very, very annoying sometimes, especially when you're first breaking them in. You will more than likely, about 99% of you, will have blisters from these boots. Now, I don't know how it is in the Army or Air Force. I know you guys have like a different combat boot and not a steel toe boot. But if you're on a ship, you have to wear these. And sometimes it sucks. So the Navy will give you something called a moleskin. And if you're bougie, if you're fancy, you can use a moleskin. But most of us just slap duct tape on our blisters because if our feet, if our feet get bad, you know, we're in a hurry, you're working on the ship or you need to get here, you need to get there you need to get to the galley before all the food runs out, you're just gonna slap some duct tape on your feet because a day at work without it can really suck. Now, once you get them broken in, they don't get that bad and I don't really have to use a lot of duct tape that often, but let's say if sometimes you have to run in your boots or whatever, duct tape can be very, very valuable. All right, last but not least, military hack number four is the way I like to tie my boots at the very top, so I'm taking these on and off twice a day. You know, I put them on and then taking them off, if not multiple times a day. So what's gonna save me a lot of time and what does save me a lot of time is putting knots at the end of these boot laces. And I know most of us in, most of us in the military already do this because it's a no-brainer. So when you unlace your boots, you know, you're pulling up, you don't have time to, to make sure this doesn't slip through. So it's really nice to just have those knots there and just pull up on it and unlace the rest of your boots. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. If you're wearing these, you know, over the course of four or five years, imagine how much, how much time that's gonna save you and it's gonna prevent you from having to put that string through every time you lace your boots up. So very, very helpful. And these are very down to earth hacks that can be used by anyone. Like if you wear boots, you know, to a job or if, you were, if you're hunting or whatever like that, then this is a very, 
valuable hack that you can use to save you lots of time. And I definitely recommend it because I use it and I consider it to make my life a lot easier. So, so I promise I wasn't gonna take a lot of y'all's time today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna stick around, if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, I would be most grateful for that. I make military videos, fitness videos, and I just try to have a good time. You know, I love YouTube, I love creating videos. I've been creating videos for a while now, but I just wasn't, you know, confident enough to post them on YouTube for some reason. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that like button because it really helps the channel, and I will see y'all in the next video. Booyah! We don't need these. I didn't say go. Mm-hmm. <laughs>